<laughs> Towards the end, no one had their heart in it. <laughs> Woo! So hot out there. Those woos are deflating. Welcome. Welcome to the show. We have a fantastic show tonight. Maybe our best show ever. Maybe not. <laughs> the important thing is uh, we're going to try. And uh, well, we have a great lineup tonight. We have a lot of fun stuff planned. Barack Obama, of course, in the news. John McCain in the news. Barack Obama campaigning very hard going everywhere these days to get the vote out. Barack Obama's staff recently announced that Barack is planning to hold a campaign event at a NASCAR race. Yeah. Yeah, the event will be called Meet Your First Black Guy. <laughs> a lot of people. Just... Uh, McCain, of course, also uh, out there in Denver. A 60-year-old woman was kicked out of a John McCain rally for heckling him. <laughs> oh. Afterwards, McCain said, I'm just not popular with young women. <laughs> just, just, just good. That's true. That's true. Of course, we, we have a president now who's working hard. Yesterday, uh, President Bush met with the Russian president, Dmitry Medvedev. Afterwards, Bush described him as, quote, a smart guy. Yeah. yeah, when asked how he knows he's smart, Bush said, he speaks fluent Russian. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Speaking of politics, months ago, months ago, Hillary Clinton's campaign booked hundreds of hotel rooms for the Democratic National Convention, but now that she's out of the race, she doesn't need them anymore. Yeah. So uh, just as Hillary's staff was about to cancel the hotel rooms, Bill Clinton said, I'll use them. <laughs> Nicely done, O'Brien. <laughs> He's horny. All right. <laughs> Olympics are about a month away. You excited about that? Yeah. All right. Wow. The applause sign works. Uh, <laughs> it's on NBC. Well, this week, here's the latest. This week, Cuba announced that they will send a rowing team to the Olympics. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, apparently the, uh, the Cuban rowing team started training last month and hasn't been seen since. <laughs> I feel like I'm giving a speech in Parliament. <laughs> hey, Angelina Jolie's in the news. Yeah. Angelina Jolie. <laughs> I want to have fun, too. Uh, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt are reportedly looking for a live-in nanny. Yeah. Yeah, Jolie said the nanny must be good with kids and speak 17 languages. <laughs> good enough to move on. Uh, that was the legal limit. Uh, in Israel, this is big news, scholars have uncovered a 2,000-year-old stone tablet with Hebrew writing on it. 2,000 years old. Yeah, the scholars say the 2,000-year-old tablet's either an important biblical document or Larry King's birth certificate. <laughs> International symbol for Larry King. Uh, I think everyone, I'm trying to get the word out on that. 
In Wisconsin, this is an uh, interesting story. Really? Seriously? Are you from there? Or are you just... Oh, you are? Okay, this kid's so excited. I really am! Can you believe I got out of Wisconsin? All right, well, in Wisconsin, you'll like this. Uh, police arrested a woman after they found 27 grams of cocaine in her vagina. True story, yeah. Yeah, police became suspicious when they noticed her vagina wouldn't stop talking. <laughs> I'll show you. Come on, thank you. Goodbye. Oh, no. Kid seems awfully young for that joke. <laughs> How old are you? Oh, you're 20. Okay, cool. I thought you were, I couldn't tell. You're very youthful. Okay, I just wanted, I didn't want to explain that one to you later on. <laughs> All right.